We're at the Woodland Hills, California, U.S. Bankruptcy Court for Polychrome Pictures' second hearing. Uh, for a lot of filmmakers, today is their day in court. Uh, it's their chance to get Gino Taylor to answer for his sins. Uh, for me, it's my opportunity to take a look at Polychrome's books or find out how I can take a look at Polychrome's books. Is that the trustee? Well, is the hearing going on? Uh, no, the hearing is not going on at 1.30. Okay, okay, so, what about so they took it off? I mean, it's on the docket now, but they're taking it off? It's on the calendar, yes. How it works is the debtor's examined, Polychrome is examined. Gotcha. Probably, was it where they examined the last time? I'm not sure. If not you completely. Know, they didn't have enough documentation. No, because okay. remember, we wanted to get the reports from Warner Brothers. Okay. We were supposed we were to have asking, data yeah. from Warner Brothers direct, not for the Polychrome numbers, the Warner data, and that's okay. what the trustee ordered. We received a bunch of documents. The trustee, I don't believe, has reviewed them all yet. And but then. Do we have a, a right oh, to see those documents? You can talk, you can submit a request to the trustee. Okay. How should you submit a request to the trustee? You can I send can an call. email, you can send. How do I get the trustees? Well, I'm sorry, we keep interrupting. Go ahead and finish how this works. I don't okay. know, I'm, so I'm misunderstanding. So we ask for documents. Once we receive the documents, then the trustee reviews them and determines whether the case is an asset case or a no asset case. We are going to be filing an asset report on this case. And as a creditor, you'd be notified to file a claim. That's how it works. When, when are you filing the asset report? Probably tomorrow. So there's, so okay. That's so how it works. Did, that did you notify? Well, the asset report, they're all here on Polychrome. I, I announced last time. March 1st is what was announced. And I also said that there may not be a meeting. You right. should check with my office. Right. That was on the record. If you checked, you would have been told, don't bother coming down. People who did check were told that. Okay. So I called the office and never got a call back. There we go. And I have the transcript, and it doesn't say anything about calling the office. It sure does. I'll have to see it. I, it's, I have it online as well as right. well, the there is no transcript online. Um, I have it online. I got it from here and I put it online. Uh, March 1 at 1.30. We'll see what happens. Do we have a phone number to get a hold of? To get, get a phone number. Can you give us a number? Sure. Thank you. I mean, to get somebody inside to get the public documents. Yes, but the property owner would know because I think they changed the lot. He's the property owner. He's the, he's the property owner. He's the lawyer. Yes. Okay, he's a property Let's talk. Excuse me. What's your name? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all the documents in one location and then allow people to come in and look at them. But first, I need to get them in one location. That's what I'm going to do first. Okay. I'm want to sorry. come in and talk about it at 1.30. We'll talk about it at 1.30. I'm not going to talk about it right here. No, no it's fine. We, okay. That'd be great. We'd, we'd appreciate that, actually. No, I mean, that's fine. We just wanted to get some, whatever the details. Are you the judge? No, I'm the trustee. The trustee. It's the very oh, end of the 1.30 calendar. No, we'll talk about it at 1.30. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. From what I understood, um, they collected all the documents and all the assets, or all the information. They looked over it, and the only reason that a case would have happened today is if they had additional questions about that. Apparently they didn't, and now they've made their conclusions. They'll do their filing tomorrow, and... There's Gina. There's Gina. There's Gina. That's Gina. Got it. That's Gina. Ollie, that's him. You are not permitted to videotape in front of this courthouse. I'm not doing anything. Well. So you don't even need to be here. For good? Do you have that? I don't know, for good? Yes, it's not. Oh, that's not for you. I have the other one. That one's for the court. I'm David Landau with Pure Play Radio. What about the deal with Code Black? Call me if you want to talk. Do you have a card? No, I don't have a card on me. But it's public record. They know how to get a hold of me. Call okay. Me. Did Call you me. think there was going to be a hearing today? Yes. Okay. Okay, you need to go now. What did, what did you want to accomplish in the hearing? Call me if you want to talk. What do you have to say to the angry filmmakers out there? Filmmakers that believe that they'll never get their projects back. Hey, God bless you, bro. Seriously. God bless I'm going to have to call the U.S. Marshal right now. What you, was that, ma'am? I'm going to call the U.S. Marshal right you? now. 
I am the attorney of record. You need to leave now. Why? We're on public property. This, all right, fine. Gino, leave. What's these your people name? put their lives into these projects, and their projects are now taken away and gone. Bless <laughs> you, Gino. These people put their lives into these projects, and now their projects are gone forever. What's up? Failed business, man. Sad. Sad, seriously. Lost a lot of money. Family lost a lot. We all did. What are, how are you, how are you managing you, with mainstream productions? How are you doing that? There is no mainstream productions. They feel like you took advantage of them. Call me if you want to talk. I'm ser seriously, I'm transparent. Guys, I don't have anything to hide. Call me. But not here. Call me. Okay. What was that, ma'am? I'm calling the police right now. Why? What is the threat? Go ahead. Call the police. What is the threat? What's the concern? You are videotaping and driving, you're not permitted to harass a, a, a debtor in we bankruptcy. Well, I'm him. saying you're harassing him. I'm a witness. I'm a well, witness. Well, that's your it. job. You're a lawyer. You're his attorney. You're his representative. You can say anything you want. Nothing, nothing is restricted to you. And do you he think said he was transparent. He said that he would say anything, like he would talk to someone. Sir, move away, please. So Gino Taylor shows up, and he even thought we had a hearing. Him and his lawyer. Yeah. Showed up. Did she show up? Yeah, yeah. They came together. together. Yeah. And then she said, no, 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 you guys can go home. What I think, what I think happens is this guy got confused. He thought he told anybody to check in with him. Nobody was told to check in with him. He did. So we all just show up. He never told that. Well, I was there. I mean, I know for a fact yeah. he did. He said, I'm going to get in for March 1st. He right. Basically, the trustee never told us in the first case that we were supposed to call him. He never returned my call to tell me that I wasn't supposed to show up here. And even though it's his fault that we're here, he still makes us wait around until the end of the day for him to hear us. Okay, the rescue people here on Polygon? Yes, sir. Okay, as I told you at lunchtime, um, I did get some documents from the debtor. I was able to have uh, a lot of the documents moved to a different facility. Um, along with some other personal property that was on site uh, from their offices. And we're trying to deal with the event date and some of the other things. So I excuse uh, the debtor's appearance today. So there was no meeting with Polychrome today. I don't know if, if they will have to come back or not. It depends on their level of cooperation and documents. How do you, uh, Vince Roken for Kisses and Carrots. How do I get a look at the documents that they turned over to you? Well, you need to be specific about what documents you're looking for because there are boxes and boxes and boxes of documents. And I'm not going to just open them up and have people go through them. If you can identify a specific document, then we can talk about that if I have it. Again, I, I'm not sure if I have the Warner Brothers documents, but I will check. Um, if those are the documents you need to see, then either shoot me an email or shoot my assistant an email and I'll try to get them to come to the office and, and look at them or have copies made depending on how solicitous as they are. It's been over a month since that hearing. And in the first hearing, the trustee told us he was gonna get all the documents together in one location for us to look at them. Now he's telling us we need to request specific documents. Like how the hell am I supposed to know what's specifically there anyway? Nonetheless, I've sent numerous emails and made several phone calls, and I haven't heard one word back from the trustee. I got screwed by Polychrome, now I'm getting screwed by the trustee and the U.S. Bankruptcy Court.